events in the coming weeks. Jeremy is here to talk about uh, some citizen science and moth week. Nothing like a good moth week, Jeremy. Nothing like a good moth what, week. What do yeah. you do at moth week? So what we do at moth week, that's coming up on July 20th. It's from 9 to 11. And what you do is, so there are over 11,000 species of moths. And we're going to see how many we can find that night. So we're going to put out a big white sheet. You put out UV light, and we're even going to paint a uh, moth bait around, which is like old bananas and sugar and stale beer. Mix it all together, paint it on a tree, and it like attracts moths in. So then we're going to see how many we can find, pick off as many, get them up close, get pictures, um, and yeah, just report back on to them. And that's the citizen okay. science part of it. Okay, and then the citizen science part's like a week before that or two weeks right? yeah so the the moth event yeah it's citizen science as well so we're getting the moths and we are sending the information back but also this saturday at 4 30 we're having another citizen science event and all about insects right now so it's about dragonflies and damselflies those little colorful insects that are flying all over right now uh, so we're going to learn a little bit about them and then we're going to go out and grab our nets and we're going to catch them learn how to get them out of the net look at them up close photograph them and also as part of citizen science um, upload them to odonata central so that they can get a, a growing map of where all these dragonflies really and so they keep are. track of the dragonflies they do yeah so they're actually you can go on you can look at the map of like where they're sighted um, because a lot of these they're said like in a book they're going to be from here to there but what we're finding with the way things are changing and just things show up in unexpected places they're all over the place now what so what's the deal with those things are they are they cool looking creatures are yeah they, dragon, they, are they do they disappear certain times of the year and so, show up now or yeah what? so dragonflies and damselflies they spend most of their life in the water as nymphs and they only come out as adults and when they are adults they're beautiful and colorful just like birds so you can actually identify them um with binoculars they're blue green um, metallic orange red their wings are different colors so they're really beautiful insects that not only are gorgeous to look at but they provide important services like they eat mosquitoes um, so they're eating pest insects and they're also food for birds so they're just if you've ever looked at a bird and like started bird watching eventually you get into dragonflies because they're out in the summer when all the birds are off breeding and nesting wow. then you switch over oh dragonflies well, something that's like the, the next void. level of bird watching yeah exactly it's the next step <laughs> that's amazing mm -hmm. you need some good binoculars for that i guess huh? yeah well even just regular birding binoculars uh they... see i bird watch on just regular flies oh <laughs> just just still regular flies just regular flies yeah, you have to okay have big binoculars stuff. yeah well you know dragonflies, dragonflies yeah totally yeah they get pretty big so they're they're easier to find and the good thing is they're hyper territorial so they're going to keep coming back again and again so oh, you can find them but yeah that's this saturday 4 30 um yeah come all on right. out. you can register at ims.org or on our facebook all right good stuff hey thanks mm -hmm. for coming yeah you're very welcome thank you for having me